Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. In today's video, we'll be going through the biggest updates our developers have released for Nibo, NoteShelf, and OneNote since we looked at them. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human. Welcome back. The most exciting update we have on this list is from Nebo. They added two new pens to the pen tool in the application. Up until now, we've only had the felt pen, but we're excited to see a fountain and brush pen in the app. The fountain pen feels familiar, but other apps have called this a calligraphy pen. The felt pen in Nebo is closest to what other apps refer to as a fountain pen. It's a bit confusing. Perhaps our developers could rename these. The felt pen will be the fountain one and the fountain will be the calligraphy pen. But without getting too hung up on what different apps call these different tools, it's great to have options in any note-taking app. The brush pen is not something we've seen in any note-taking app before. So it's quite interesting and we're just curious to know how many of you would actually like this look. All these pens feel the same, they just look different. So your writing experience is not different when you switch from one tool to another. At the end of the day, you have to decide which look you want to go for, not which pen you like using. For most applications, it's usually the look as well as the feel when you actually use the pens. Which pen tool do you like of these three? Do tell. Nibble now supports an even wider range of symbols. Most of them are useful bullets for unnumbered lists. We can't wait till the application can recognize any symbol you throw at it. And that's the direction Nibble is headed to, which is awesome. Instead of going to the dictionary to add new words away from your notebook, you can now teach the app new words. All you have to do is long press on the new word and go to learn. We are happy that we can do this without disrupting our workflow. In case the app has converted the new word incorrectly, which it most likely will, you can quickly correct it with your keyboard before saving it which is one of the reasons why we love the fact that you can mix handwriting and text in Nibble. This new learn feature is much better than closing the notebook to add a new word to your dictionary. Nibble 3.4 has brought some exciting updates that we can't wait to start using. Now let's jump to Note Shelf and see what's exciting there. You can now edit your shapes after you've drawn them in the application. This only seems to work for new shapes you draw in the app. So your old shapes that you drew before this update, they remain uneditable, which is not a problem. We just found that interesting. We just thought that this update will make all your shapes editable, which does not seem to be the case. Overall, we love the feature. Hopefully in the future, we'll have autofill for the shapes, but this is a step in the right direction. Note Shelf's Shapes tool is catching up with the rest of the other apps. Until now, OneNote is one of the apps that was still using the old widgets from iPadOS 14. They have finally updated them with three widgets, one small one and two big ones. The first two widgets display your recent notes. There is not much editing you can do with them. Let's hope in the future we'll be able to at least choose the notebook or section we display on our widget. For the other big widget, in addition to displaying your recent notes, it also has quick capture options to quickly do the following. You can add a page to quickly start taking notes from the home page. You can add a page for handwritten notes. So you add this and you can quickly start handwriting your notes without taking multiple steps that you'll require if you open the app. You can create a to-do list, take a photo, or start audio recording right from your homepage. These are very useful shortcuts to quickly get started in the app. And it brings us to the end of this short video about the updates from different note-taking apps that we thought are worth mentioning. We hope you guys like this video. 
give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let us know which of these updates you find interesting. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.